Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 19. You will add and subtract fractions in word problems. And you'll be doing that with the RDW method. Read, draw, and write your answer as a statement. So let's just get right to it. For my class, You only have the first page of this assignment, three questions. Now we've been doing a lot of adding and subtracting with fractions, but we haven't done much in context. And in context of problems in real life, you use fractions a lot. There's a ton of times that we use fractions in real life. So let's just look at a couple. Now, first step is to read. It does instruct us that we're supposed to read first. So Isla walked three-fourths a mile each way to and from school on Wednesday. How many miles did she walk that day? So we're going to draw for this problem. Now, you can draw many things. You could draw a tape diagram to show what is happening. Or you could draw physically draw a picture. All right, we got this girl here, Isla. Here she is. She is going to walk three-fourths of a mile one way, and she gets to her school. It's this awesome building with many windows. It's two-story because it's really cold in this area where she goes to school. So it's all indoors. And then she takes that three-fourths, and she walks it again back. So here's my little visual, and this makes me think that she goes three-fourths one way. Oh, let me do it. Let me write it this way. She goes three-fourths one way, and she goes three-fourths back for a total of six-fourths, which is made up of four-fourths and two-fourths, or one and two-fourths. Or, some of you might even reduce that, or simplify it, to one and a half. Now, we should write this out as a statement. So, let me get my typing ready. And choose a color here. Isla walked... one and a half miles to and from school. All right, let's see how this looks. There you go. She walked two and one and a half miles to and from school. You could say one two fourth miles. All right, now how about number two? Number two says that Zach spent two-thirds an hour reading on Friday and one and a third hour reading on Saturday. How much more time did he read on Saturday than Friday? So how much more is a comparison? When you compare two numbers, you want to find the difference between them. It's subtraction. So let's take a look. For this one, I'd go ahead and draw myself like a piece of tape. I would say that on Friday, Friday, he read whoop, a whole. Now yeah, that's not looking very good. Sorry about that. Make it look a little nicer. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at these two amounts of time. So the S I have here is for Saturday. Now on Saturday. He read one, and the last part is a third. And I'll just say these are all thirds, so three thirds made up for the whole, and he read a third more. Now on Friday, different size pen here, he only read, oh, we should go back, oh, that's too much.
Okay, sorry, I'm having technical difficulties because I am not used to this other system yet. Okay, it's not going to let me erase, so let me make the best of it. Alright, let's call this two-thirds. This is Friday, it's done not very nicely, but it will not let me erase for some reason. Alright, so this is two-thirds against one whole and one-third. So these two cancel out these two. But what's left over? There are still one-third and one-third left over. So on Saturday, he read two-thirds more. Or, as a statement, Zach read two-thirds more on Saturday than he did on Friday. All right. I put Zachary instead of Zach. So he definitely read a lot more on Friday. All right. Now, of course, you can subtract that out. You do need to have some kind of visual to um, show it as a model or some kind of other option, okay? If you have any more questions on solving these word problems, then see me, and I'll be glad to help. Thanks.